and welcome back to Lost and Random. Let's get that last bloop. Mm, who should we give the potion to, though? How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Classic bloop. bloop. Nice, what are we having? Hey, you said it. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up now. Perhaps the most okay you lost the the most useless. Let's give the dice away first so we can think who should we take give so I don't care. Uh, so right now, uh, first things first you not you well not you but you lady a little further away. Where should we give those bloops to? I have dubious for slice school that I think I might be used to. Impossible! Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Or oh, rather, it was a dice. It was new gilded, was it? Oh, if I had such power, child, I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No, no, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed all the dice, child. Well, almost. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. The No Dice War? It was a catastrophe. The Queen Child decided that she should be the only one to wield a dice. And so, she waged war on them, and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If, when, she finds out there's still a dice, and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic, and she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she'll do to you and your friend here. <laughs> It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. Yeah, I've been there. I suspected as much. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden far below random and far from the Queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead. Forbidden to all but a few will remember. I'd wager you don't fully know what you travel with. Yeah, I'm traveling with a friend. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you are. Goodbye, child. Take care and random rules. No, one more thing. One more thing. Good luck, Dice Damn it. And you too, little Dice. Can you fix him? No, we are definitely down here. Who can fix you? That's still broken. Okay, let's see. You have the ingredients! 
Brilliant! That's all I need. Uh, please, pass them over. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. Okay. Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, just need to mix them together and down the hatch. Ah. Okay. I I feel strange. Oh, oh this is intense! Perfect! It's just me! For the first time, it's just me! Thank you for this. Uh, let me give you something in exchange for all of this. It's my partner's personality. Distilled down to its purest essence. I hope it treats you well. You know what? By the cards, I think I'm actually going to miss him. It's so quiet without him in my head. I may actually miss him already. He'd say that's only logical. Isn't that funny? It's funny, isn't it? Natalia's spell. Summon a healing bell that heals the dice wielder when she's nearby. The spell was 60 seconds. Thank you again. You'll come back to visit me, won't you? It's so quiet here all by myself. That's what you wanted. So lonely. You even start to miss logic. Okay, so now we can finally follow the ghost. To the upside down down town. Uh, all this tuness reminds me of odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. As she looked up, even began to realize that Two Town's name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seemed to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Okay. Huh? <laughs> oh, a dice? Where did you come from, little one? My boss. Let him go. That's right. You better smarten up and look where you're going, or I'll... Well, <laughs> you're very angry for someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big, clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it was an accident. <sighs> All right. Apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. I haven't seen your sister, though. The thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them what? for Two-Town, she said. Oh, why would she take them? A nanny Fortuna is the right hand of the queen, and has been for years. She's as mean as she is old. And let's just say she doesn't take kindly to people borrowing her... Super pricey mechanical spider wagon. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. I know her. She's the one who took my sister. So, it seems like we both have a reason not to like her. <laughs> The Civil War and Freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> but enough about that. What's up with this dice? I haven't seen a real one in years. I see you're missing a couple of pips, little one. If you're going to go anywhere. Why can I simply walk through the door to Freedom? You are new, aren't you? Yeah. The door to three towns forever locked. It keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you, but... Could? But? 
But I can't. What the hell? Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> if I help you, you'll help me. Can I just paint the little dicey? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Listen, even if things were that easy, do you think we'd all be here? Heck no! We'd all be in Six Town, living the high life, relaxing by, uh, by whatever it is that Six Towners relax by. A pool of gold, probably. Sadly, it's not that easy, even. <laughs> Especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor. So, yeah, find my eyes, and I can definitely help you. So, go help out old Seymour. Only because I don't have other, other choice. Hey, good enough for me. Be careful with that two-faced mayor. Okay, if you need me, I'll be over at the town square, near the door to freedom. Mm, I'll better go talk to the mayor. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad, large monster. Did she? Been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. Oh, I can see you. I am. Well, one of them at least. Uh, a new young lady, or oh. Even. Well met, even. At last, even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town, the administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least, even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, even? I'm trying to find my sister and someone stole an eye and some stolen eyes. You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs. I'm trying to find my sister and some stolen eyes. Mine a twister <sighs> or some colon guys. Maybe as well. Find my sister and some stolen eyes. Grind your oh, God. Why don't you take the elevator and step into my office, even? Thank It'll you. be easier to talk. Yes, it will be, indeed. First things first, I saw this trapdoor. It's so be a shining city mm. in the sky. I'm trying to look for some people to talk to. They, that is, if they have something, anything interesting to say. Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand, and then, one day, he was just... there. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even, if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you noticed the changes here, even. Our personalities becoming personified now. Personalists are getting their own bodies now. That's what Royam is. He's growing out of my hat, and I don't know how to stop him. I don't know how to fix this town even, and I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? 
What's the... We already know that. Why? Why would what you ask that? You, girl? you want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. Mayor spelled backwards. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Uh, anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. What's he doing that so bad? Well, for starters, he's wasting precious time and people on this upside-down project. Secondly, he is bat-dung mad as a hatter and he freaks me out personally. He's my opposite, but at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. Mm, I have a couple of questions. What's going on with the construction? No, oh, that's, um, that's the Queen's idea. She wants us to build a second two town. Duality and all that. It'll be glorious, of course. Everything the Queen does is glorious. But, uh, well, it just seems to be that it's taking its time to get to that glory and, well, uh, never mind. I'm speaking out of turn. Right. Queens know best. Right. Queens always know best. I should stop worrying about it. Is everything doubled in Dodo? It, uh, it is, yes. It didn't used to be this way. Truth be told, the two-ness in this town can be a little tiring. Everyone being split into dual personalities is what makes us who we are. But building a second city. That flying pile of garbage. That's it's cool that pretty things accurate, what they are. Since it's mostly built out of garbage. So At that's its our best, garbage. It's a mad experiment to test my patience. Keeping half of the citizenry occupied with the useless work while the rest of my town stagnates. Oh, but look at myself lose my temper again. We must trust in the Queen's grand plan for us all in our duty to ensure that what she wants happens. In the end, it is all fair even. Random rules. Have you seen my sister? Oh, she kind of looks like me. No, I'm afraid not. You're the first tourist we've had in quite some time. Have you considered spending some time in currency down the wonderful Cellar Street? I have, but I miss it even if I want to do. Oh good. As mayor, I expect that should make me happy. We've got a new slogan, you know, straight from Nani Fortuna. It's two town where the fun is doubled. So twice the fun. That's something to look forward to. Sure, yeah. Uh, do we still have some questions to ask? Why don't you fix this? You're the mayor. I wish it were that easy even, but... But what? But I'm just the mayor, and she's the queen! I'm simply not a man of action even. Not anymore. There's nothing I can do. Can see that. You're pretty powerless from I'll try to help. Ugh. That's very no kind. To but please bring don't. Him down. I don't want anyone mad at me, especially not the Queen, nor the Nanny Fortuna, nor my mother, for that matter. Oh, bless her soul. Why would you bring your mother into this? Okay, enough. Seriously. Um, do we still have any questions? No, finally. Did you take my Francine Moore's eyes? I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... 
That. Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royan directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help. This is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice. And good luck. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Wait, wasn't there a dice in this earlier? And how does things actually work up there? Oh, hi. Greetings, my name is Royan, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh... Lart. I was about to say that. That's my rhyme. You seem to struggle with rhyming. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh, yeah. Juggle. Stop interrupting me, I almost had it! Ah! I thought the other guy down there was the mayor. Him, the mayor? Don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Stuff. Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... True. <laughs> Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me. What do you want? I don't have Seymour's eyes. Can't we make a deal? Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? Yes. So you do have Seymour's eyes. Give them back. Oh no, I don't give anything away for free. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... Nothing in note. Ha! You wish, but that's not the prize at which I'll sell. I'll let them go if you teach me how to rhyme. Competently. Here's my offer, take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Good brief. Ah, you are good. If I come up with the perfect moon poem, you'll give me the eyes. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. Where did you come from? My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... Entrepreneur. Stop interrupting my poetry! Goodbye. Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... cooked. Thanks for the answer, social... Unsolish... Advice. Thanks for advice. Hmm. <sighs> It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. 
There were some particular you doing there? posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps those could be of inspiration. Okay, give me a second there. We'll build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant Your house, of course, mm. will never fall down when you go in Manny's help. Oh, that wasn't my intention. God damn it. Run. Ooh, that's bad. That was unnecessary though. Yep. Can I even hit it? No, not really. Okay. Man. Okay, see, go get it. Those are kind of better. Please, oh, that isn't any good at all. Well, thanks to that, I can play two more cards. Yeah, like this. His thing on the shield. Nope, that was on his back. I die. Okay, let's do this. Now we have two. Oh, I screwed at it. No, maybe not. Can I hit this? I need bow and arrow or something. Or the hand. Oh my goodness. One. Okay, give me that. No, I can't really use that. I can't really use any of that. Really? Like so. Uh, what? Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Where's my bow? Oh, you know, where's my bow? Oh, there it is. Please give me a two. Thank you. Really, we're not 
to nic. That's a one. I was really hoping for something else, but... Let's see. Four. Oh, wait, why? Why did my bow and arrow end as well? Is that it? One. Give me that. Oh, give me that. And we don't have bow and arrow. Oh, it won't hit them anyway. them so much that's what I was hoping for I know <laughs> not that change anything Great, 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 great. That. We need some more ranged weapons. Are you serious? Still no. Because <sighs> I can't jump, I can't hit them. And why? That's what I mean. I can't hit them without and weapons or 
call it poor game design. Oh god damn it! Especially when I can't even hit them properly. I see get over here. Throw him! Especially when it costs two. And I can't hit it properly. Are you serious? You are serious. How am I supposed to hit you? I can't jump, so there's that. Okay, I'll try. Maybe we can do it. That was not work. Oh my goodness. I escape from the wrong doors. Nothing will do anything. Give me a two. There's one. Let's open it. This is tedious. You've got to be kidding me. Give me the card. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> now we have to. Are you freaking serious? How can I? Ow! How can I get out? so annoying to hit and hit me hard. That's not adequate to what has happened here. Oh. And actually I think we're gonna end this part before we talk to him. So for now, thank oh we won't. Mm, Never mind. Disgrace. I was pinned down by those those vile machines. But now they're scrap. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. I'm glad to have helped. 
plain and mysterious, not telling me your name. I can respect that. I'll call you Big Mystery. Big Red and Big Mystery, here in Two Town. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this... this horrible place, Big Mystery? I'm looking for my sister also, so nice. I'm afraid I can't help with either of those, but I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, named a Little Joe. A Little Joe from Scrandall's Alley? That's him! Looks Another? just like me, only he's Maybe? a jerk. I met him, I know him. I saved him from some robots. Well, he was going to work up here, but I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister! So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. You must be so bad at him. Oh, I was, for sure. And I was of two minds about it for a long time. But now I'm just tired. I know what he did was wrong. And I know he knows it too. He probably feels really guilty about it. But I don't want revenge. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. I understand. And now I can. Oh, thank you. You've really made a difference in my life, big mystery. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! Okay, but that's gonna be it for today, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!